<laughs> yeah, and these are my grandbabies. How could I deprive my grandchildren? Oh, they love it down here. Of this. They love Elaine Kane visits the family land she's trying to get title to on Simmons Road in North Preston. Her children and grandchildren join her. We weren't able to get this property, the deed, is, it's, 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 it baffles me. Elaine holds out hope that one day she will have title to this land. And she has plans. I love to gain a beautiful home and a nice cafe. A cafe? Tell yeah. me about the cafe. Well, the cafe, there's nothing in North Preston, right? Like, there's no store, no, nothing there. So um, if I can be the first one to do it, that's what I'll do. That's my dream. Uh, whether it be white, Indian, or whatever the case may be, we have the same desire. Everybody wants to prosper and would like to see the community develop. Right now, we have our children being left behind. And where you don't get the land and saying straight no, they're going to be, uh, whether you uprooted, no place to go. Pastor Bruce Johnson wants to see a just future for the people of North Preston. They must also be able to uphold for the injustices that were done by their, their ancestors who were in government. You know they were the wrong then done, then why not correct it? Let's straighten this thing out. And I don't mean pussyfooting around like they uh, dealt with the Africa bill. I don't mean nothing like that. I mean when justice, I mean absolute, absolute justice of correcting the wrong that have been done towards our people. The Nova Scotia Barrister Society is working for justice as well. African Nova Scotian uh, community leaders and organizational leaders and uh, community representatives have told us that this is a crucial and important issue uh, for their long-term viability of, of the communities, i.e. to ensure that the communities don't erode uh, that, so that land doesn't pass out of community hands and into the hands of uh, corporations or other people who don't have a vested interest in the community. People in the community are continuing to share information about land title and pressure the provincial government to act. This entire piece of rock that we sit on has been developed by our blood, sweat and tears and uh, we don't want to lose that. Job is on, on me now as a grandfather to fight for for our land and to keep it coming, keep it going in our in our in our community or keeping it going for our grandkids. We asked for an on-camera interview with ministers or staff from the Department of Natural Resources and African Nova Scotian Affairs. But the requests were declined. A spokesperson for DNR sent an email response that states in part. A lack of clarity around land title can be frustrating to residents as it affects their ability to use, develop, and enjoy their land. As it is early in the process and upon further consideration, we think it may be inappropriate to comment in an interview at this time. This is part of an email from the Minister of African Nova Scotian Affairs. Before I was elected as MLA, I had an awareness of some of the concerns related to land title in the community of North Preston. My government is committed to trying to address this and has begun to take the necessary steps. I hope to have more information to share in the future when we are further along in the process. That means more waiting for this family.